name is Ian, and I'm the project manager here at Midlands Power Networks. Right, so I'm here with my director, who is Steve Holmes uh, from Midlands Power Networks, and I've just joined Steve this morning, and I'd like Steve to explain what we actually do here at Midlands Power Networks. So, uh, quite an extensive uh, network of, of customers and, and projects that we do. So anything from local businesses, just looking after the substations, inspections, general maintenance, taking oil samples, right through to, to building power stations for people like Centrica and Siemens. Um, we're heavily involved in smart technologies and things like that, so automating networks um, and, and generally distributing electricity around the country and looking after the uh, maintenance and ongoing installation works for, for various new sites. That's great Steve, can you explain a little bit more about why uh, maintenance of electrical equipment is really important? Yeah, obviously nobody wants the lights to go out um, and without keeping an eye on things you don't know when it's going to happen but it will happen one day and as everybody knows we have power cuts. If we can maintain and condition monitor the equipment we provide a preventative maintenance service so we'll go to customer sites complete inspections discharge tests so we'll use handheld equipment to listen for signs of discharge we'll take oil samples and send them off to a lab or laboratory for analysis um, and then we also uh, general visual inspection to make sure there's no vandalism or any signs of aging or deterioration of the, the system. Yeah, thanks Steve, that's great. Um, we've got, I think it's about 20 staff here now in Midlands Power Networks, um, ranging from electricians, apprentices, cable jointers to administration staff and engineering staff. What sort of work would a work experience student be expected to carry out here with us? So obviously uh, with work experience it is difficult to get heavily involved with electricity. Um, we would certainly look to give a work experience um, student a, an overview of what we do from the admin side, so looking at the records that we uh, send out to be completed, the completed records that come back, the, um, the, the various stages of, of, of each project, so from tendering out to receiving orders, out to completion of the works, and then um, evaluating whether the, the work has made a profit or not. Um, there would be some hands-on experience, so things like uh, taking oil samples and, and inspections, you would generally be with one of our engineers out on site. Now, some sites are secure and some sites are uh, classed as more dangerous than others, whereas certain sites are um, quite safe to work on and you would be uh, you would be okay to, to attend a site and to stand there with your hands in your pockets and observe what, what's been done and maybe in the stores we've got some equipment and materials that you could uh, learn from. Um, we do have a storekeeper that will manage stock, deliver parcels out ready for the lads to collect each morning or, or on a weekly basis or even take those deliveries out to the staff if they're busy working on site. So a general kind of assistance role. I've been asked uh, to, to tell you how I got involved in the electrical industry. I left school way back in 1983 and was lucky enough to gain an apprenticeship which was with a company called MEB or Midlands Electricity Board, which is now uh, uh, WPD or Western Power Distribution. I spent four years as an electrical apprentice and I was trained to do mainly domestic work, so the wiring houses with light sockets, that type of thing, and then progressed into uh, installations into factories. And as I got older, I went on to do uh, high voltage electrical work um, and all sorts of different jobs really within the electrical industry, from street lighting, um, to overhead line installation, to factory installation, and, and then particularly later on in life with a high voltage switch gear. So um, my journey there, I spent 22 years with those people and I left in 2005 and then joined uh, as a training provider and an electrical assessor. So I was helping apprentices gain their NVQs to become 
electrical uh, installers. And I spent two years with that company and my work then took me to uh, a college in Shropshire, quite a well-known college, and I became an electrical installation lecturer. So I was teaching younger students, both guys and girls, to become electrical installers. So they would then hopefully gain their qualifications after two years, which would then bring them on the road to becoming an electrical installer. Um, after about nine years at the college, I decided I'd, I'd like a change of plan and I left the business and I came to Midlands Power Networks, which is where I've been now for four years as a project manager. So I look after some of the electrical projects here and what the staff are after as well. I make sure that they have got all the equipment that they need to do the jobs with. Um, look after the health and safety elements, which is most important this day and age. Um, electricity is very dangerous, so we certainly don't want to hurt anybody during our work activities. So that's quite a long time in a very short space of time, really. Um, electrical installation is a fantastic job. It can take you all around the world. I've got colleagues who worked um, all over the UK. I personally worked all over the UK as well. Some of my friends have, have moved and actually settled in Australia and New Zealand now as a result of their work activities with electricity. So it could open a, a range of, of job opportunities to you. I've also been asked to give you a little bit of advice on what to do when uh, preparing yourself for the world of work. One thing that uh, does help greatly is work experience. Unfortunately, we can't offer that at the moment during the present climate with the, the uh, coronavirus present. And a lot of our staff are isolating at home so that we're ready to react and that we've got fit, healthy staff ready to respond to people like the NHS who, uh, who definitely need the power to look after uh, all the patients that they've got at present. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is some of our staff are isolating at home um, where the, whereby they can work remotely. So some of our admin duties and particularly myself as well can also work from home. So we've uprooted and moved all our equipment back to our home offices so that we can work directly from there. So one of the things that I must say to you is that um, you, you need to study hard to get the grades that you, know, you, you, that you think you can achieve. So do the best you can. Um, also apply for your local college, get on a course that interests you, not just because your friend's doing it or you know that they want to play football or something like that you, you might be okay at football but it, it's something that may not give you a, a lifelong um, a, a lifelong income so pick a course that interests you and, and work hard at that after probably about 12 months at college you might have a really good taste of what the, the course is all about and what your future holds then start applying for jobs if you're lucky enough, you could get a job straight away, as I did straight from school, and walk into a, a full apprenticeship for a, I don't know, a three, four year period. But you may not. You, and I think what you need to do is make uh, a bit of a nuisance of yourself. Get involved in um, what a company does, look at their history, their background, research their websites, ask questions if you know anybody who works at that company, and knock on doors as well. Go and show your face to companies. Um, drop your CVs in and keep doing it, don't get disheartened. Um, I certainly know of one case where a, a gentleman that I, uh, a young apprentice that I work with, he made several visits to one company um, asking if they got apprenticeships. And they knew him eventually by name. And when they did decide uh, that they had got an apprenticeship available, he was the first person they thought of. So good luck. <music>